This week, Nebraska Governor Pete Ricketts and other Republican governors visited Texas to draw attention to what they call a crisis along the border. Charles Herbster, one of the several Republicans running to replace Ricketts, was also there. 3 News Now investigator Aaron Sandiford has the story on who arranged Herbster's trip and why it might matter in Nebraska's GOP primary. Nebraska Republican Charles Herbster has wrapped his run for governor in his support for former President Donald Trump. He doesn't shy away from having attended Trump's January 6th rally near the White House, shortly before the Capitol was stormed. He wore a VIP tag. Trump advisor Kellyanne Conway kicked off Herbster's campaign. Trump advisor Corey Lewandowski helped steer his staff for months. Now Herbster's working with Trump advisor Stephen Miller. Miller wrote many of Trump's immigration policies, including separating families at the border. Three News Now investigators confirmed Miller's involvement Thursday by listening to a telephone town hall that Herbster hosted with Nebraskans. On it, Herbster said Miller arranged his border trip. He said, Stephen Miller was in the White House, was in charge of immigration, worked with President Trump, and it's great to have him on the Herbster team. Herbster's staff say Miller is helping the campaign, but not working for it. Miller, on the call, said he fully supports Herbster's vision to reduce immigration at the state level, which Herbster has not yet detailed. He said, Charles has committed to me that if he is governor of Nebraska, he will use his authority, working with the state legislature to pass the kinds of laws that are necessary to discourage illegal immigrants from settling and working in the state of Nebraska. And he will also pass the kinds of laws that are necessary as well to try to prevent the influx of refugees. Nebraska is home to thousands of immigrants, including some who are in the country illegally. They live in communities large and small. The state also welcomes more refugees than many states its size, thanks to local charities. It welcomed an estimated 125 refugees over the past 12 months. A recent study by the University of Nebraska at Omaha says immigrants, including refugees, contribute more to Nebraska's economy than they take out. But Herbster and Miller describe what's happening at the border as a threat to American culture. Experts call such language coded. Here's Herbster on former Trump advisor Steve Bannon's podcast. The chaotic disaster that the Biden administration has created is absolutely uncalled for and will change the entire culture of the greatest country on the face of the earth. The Southern Poverty Law Center, which identifies and studies hate groups, dedicates a full web page to Miller. They highlight his ties to white supremacists. Miller does not think highly of the people of Nebraska. Uh, this is this is this is him just trying to lash out at immigrants. He does not actually care about the people who live there in the slightest. He is primarily interested in 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 going after his favorite scapegoat, which is which are people of color. And the Republican Party can do a lot better than this. Um, it, you know, uh, this is not a partisan issue. Here's what Herbster said Thursday. He said, these people that are coming across the border, they don't give a damn about America. I'm just going to be direct. That's the way farmers talk. But I can tell you the only reason they're coming across to this country is that most of them want to destroy the country. We'll be a Venezuela in a decade if we don't close the damn border on the southern part of this country. Aaron Sandiford, 3 News Now. Herbster visited Texas and Arizona on his border trip. He says he's hearing from Border Patrol agents who say they need more help from states like Nebraska. Herbster said he would send more state resources to the border as governor because the president isn't doing enough. This month, Nebraska sent an additional 190 members from the National Guard to the border, and they'll be there for a year under orders from President Joe Biden.